There's been plenty of talk lately about problems with education. But let's take a look at a counterexample, the example of Walter H. G. Lewin. According to the New York Times, Lewin is part of a new generation of academic stars. You'll find these stars on the web. We won't worry about learning the physics here. Instead, let's focus on the teaching. We have here a trajectory of a golf ball or a tennis ball in 26100. We shoot it up at an angle alpha. The horizontal component in the x direction is v0 cosine alpha, and the vertical component is v0 sine alpha. I now would like to test some of the results that we have here, that we have worked out here. I'm going to shoot a pellet, a metal ball. I'm going to shoot it at various angles, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees. And I'm going to make a prediction, if I shoot it up from there, where it will hit the table. A measurement is meaningless without knowing the uncertainties. That very top mark is three meters. And all I want you to tell me whether it is yay much above or yay much below, and then we'll estimate that yay much, and then we'll make a guess. And I'll do it twice. So if you're ready, make sure that you can distinguish between above and below it makes a big difference. Yeah? Okay? Three, two, one, zero. Okay, was it higher or lower? <laughs> How much? This much? Do we agree? Let's say five centimeters, right? Three, two, one, zero. Put your finger there! Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that amazing? Do you see now how important it is that you have uncertainties in your measurements? In high school, you would have said it has to hit there. Boom, man. It has an error. <laughs> and the error has to be taken into account. Where's my ball, by the way? Three, two, one. Ah! Hit the jackpot! <laughs> Incredible. What you can argue now, and successfully, you could say, perhaps you have been a little bit too conservative on your errors, and I admit that. So we must allow for this error. And that is an error which is by no means negligible anymore. There's no point here. That is an error which is 18 divided by 866. That is a 2% error. So what now is the distance between the monkey and the golf ball, the distance between the two trajectories, one trajectory, no gravity, the other with gravity, this distance equals one-half g t2 squared for that same reason. And we all know that if the monkey at time t equals zero let go, that in t2 seconds, it will have fallen exactly over a distance one-half g t2 squared. Exactly. This couldn't be more tragic. <laughs> and he will be killed. You may say, well, yeah, but you have manipulated the speed of that gun just so nicely. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can shoot that with a higher speed at the same angle alpha, and the trajectory would be this, and the monkey would be killed there. I can do it with a lower speed, and the monkey would be killed here. It's independent of the speed of the bullet. Here is Robert.
I thought... I thought it was appropriate to change for the occasion. <laughs> I don't go on monkey hunts too often. But when I do it, I'd like to do it in style. Even, I, even I'm nervous. I admit it, you know. This is a terrible thing to do. Terrible thing to do. You ready? Three, two, one, zero. Poor monkey. See you Friday. So what have we learned here? We've learned that Professor Lewin invests a great deal in his teaching. And this interest in investment translates into engagement on the part of his students. And this extends beyond physics. It becomes something that adds meaning to their lives. So, despite the kinds of technology that he uses, it's this larger effort to make education relevant that makes Professor Lewin stand out.